Seven students are graduating from UPMC Hammett's Project Search program after having an opportunity to explore various career paths. The new grads are now preparing to move into the next phase of their career. Brianna Malone joins us now in the newsroom with more on the program and reaction from the graduates. Brianna. Sean, the president of UPMC Hammond, says students that participate in Project Search typically receive a long-term employment in the same environment where they received instruction. Seven graduates are being recognized for their completion of UPMC Hammett's Project Search. The president of Hammett says the program caters to a unique group of people. Project Search is a program for um, students that may have some emotional or um, intellectual challenges. And the program is catered to educating the students in a way that they are able to connect and grow. He says the program provides students with hands-on training. Their classroom is at Hammett um, throughout the school year and the morning is spent in the classroom. The afternoon is spent shadowing and learning different positions and they have rotations. Gibbon says the program teaches students more than just workforce development skills. Two students that we spoke with say they learned skills in the program that will help them excel in their careers. I learned how to feed patients, how to take care of them. I learned how to trade pass. I learned how to serve people in the kitchen. And that was like a big thing in my part of my job here. It was awesome. I do the first doses of the XR2A and I only do the large oral saws. We've been changing that since December. And then I do Aggie dose, first and second shifts, and so forth. As the graduates turn the page, Shoot says she would recommend the program to anyone as friends have now become family. Today is my last day here and I have made a family and I'm going to be sad to leave them. Gibbon says a new class will receive instruction beginning in August. Sean. Right, Brianna Malone in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Brianna.